uh, in last four decades we were performing the spine surgery as a traditional open surgery where we have to make a midline long incision along the back and we have to retract the muscles to reach the bone and perform these particular techniques such as discectomy, decompression or a spinal fusion surgery. However, in last two decades, the things have rapidly changed. There is a lot of newer technology has come and now we can perform these procedures through a small portals or holes with the help of tubular retractors. In such cases where we don't need to cut the muscles, we directly through the skin, we reach the area where we have to remove the part of the disc or the ligament with the help of tubular retractors. Usually the incision is less than one inch. We do not need to cut any muscles and these patients usually return to their routine activities within one or two weeks. The hospital stay also as compared to the open surgery where the patient used to stay for one week in minimally invasive surgery, patient stays only one or two days and they return to their routine activities at earliest. Also there is a lot, there is a less pain in minimally invasive surgery. They don't need too much of painkillers. ICU is not required. Again, we don't have to uh, give them a lot of medications at home and these patients they can go to their job activities also within two or three weeks. Now there are newer technologies which has come up for the spinal fusion surgery which can be performed through various tubular retractors. Now there are few names to mention is one is MIS minimally invasive spine surgery TLIF transforaminal lumbar interbody fusion where we have to remove the bad disc through a small hole and we put an interbody spacer along with the percutaneous screws in the spine and patient goes home within next day and they return to their activity in two three weeks again there are fewer new technologies which we have we are already performing in manipal hospitals especially in old people where they have a degenerative scoliosis. Now this is something which is coming up due to the increased life expectancy. So when in increased age we tend to get more wear and tear or spondylitis of the spine and we tend to have a, a curve in the spine. So in such patients we can do from the side of the tummy, we can reach the spine through the tubular retractors and we can put the spacers and we can correct the whole lumbar curve, whole spine curve to get back the straight spine and that usually relieves their back pain as well as the leg problems. So these are few revolutionized the spine surgery in last one decade and they are usually performed through a small holes with minimal blood loss, very less risk of infection, no ICU stay, painkillers are very less required and they can return to their activities within two weeks. Thank you.